Hi, my name is David Eidosi, and in this video I want to show how may nine work under the hood and uh, um, how it can increase the usability and uh, uh, the, the and uh, make the the Maya 2016 workflow more fast and efficient. First of all, I want to start to main nine readme. I already made some videos about my script, uh, the script of the, uh, the scripts of the contributors, uh, and uh, uh, in this video I want to uh, uh, explain better this part of the readme. Uh, is a core part where when I um, um, when I put the the increasing and the uh, optimization on the Maya workflow. Uh, I want to start uh, Maya. I'm using the last version on May 9 as always, uh, the 1.3.3. And uh, here, as you can see here, I have a lot of explanation and a lot of uh, information. First of all, uh, as you already see in the other video, the press and hold Z is uh, a key feature. It's uh, let me add the ability to have access to the marking menu, in this case the whole marking menu, by using the left mouse button hand. By using Z and the right mouse button, uh, I have the contextual menu. Um, as you can see in this uh, fast uh, uh, explanation. About that, uh, uh, as, uh, as you can see, of course, uh, uh, Z in Maya sometimes is used by undo, but I think so. Use undo in a single in a single button is really is really um, uh, can create some problem because uh, uh, it is very is, is very simple make an under, make a mis misunderstanding and uh, uh, press uh, a single button and uh, make a make operation you, you don't want to make and undo is, uh, is a crucial and uh, and uh, and very critical uh, of course uh, command so by pressing all all uh, always the uh, sorry um, by pressing the z standalone uh, the, the, this is this, there, there are a high risk to undo some some uh, um, some uh, action some command without really want it so i prefer let uh, let use ctrl z as a as all uh, other software do and i think this is better this because uh, uh, there is no two command no, no, there are no two hot to key to make the same thing and ctrl z is more secure it's more difficult to uh, tap without want it um, as you can see, I have Ctrl, Alt, and Z to uh, access to so MM Manager and MMM Resetter. I I already showed this in my personal script in the in the, the video when I, when I when I speak about the custom scripts. Uh, Universal Duplicator, Ctrl D. I showed this in the previous video too. This let you duplicate an object or duplicate a patch on the null surfaces or you can extrude uh, a vertex uh, or a face uh, and so on and so far but by selecting a component so it's um, very like soft image and XSI uh, way to duplicate things uh, Ctrl Z uh, Ctrl Z for reverse save, this uh, let you return, come back uh, to the original state of the file when you open it, or you have made the last save. So in this way, you can revert the the file at uh, is uh, status. Um, Control Alt and Z. But uh, as you can see, this opening a window, a confirm window. This is a very, very um, uh, this is a very, very critical shortcut too. All right, great. Um, another thing I want to show you, uh, we can go over um, the T3 history and transformation. This is another interesting, uh, uh, interesting code key. This lets you uh, control enter the delete history at at the same time freeze the transformation. This is very useful when you have, for example, a uh, a geometry, a mesh can, that that you want to bind by the joints, or you make a cost controller for a rig. Uh, very, 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 very useful. Um, enter. Uh, all right. Uh, control Alt Space. This is a um, hot key uh, to let you in in this field, in the search field. Control Alt and Space, and from here you can, of course, searching. Uh, um, 
some command based on the uh, number, uh, based on the text, uh, text uh, search. I open two times the same readme file, one close it. All right, great. Uh, control uh, show the last version in AI. Yeah, sorry for this. Uh, I don't know what, what is the name in English of this, uh, this uh, dot, uh, this. Uh, uh, punctuation uh, so I'm sorry for that uh, should last operation in attribute editor um, this is the should last operation in stack I already show that in the um, in the video about the script and my personal scripts and um, it's very simple uh, let you uh, have access to the the last uh, stack uh, that's operation in stack. Uh, this is very useful before I. Vive is in view menu uh, that um, auto scadding to, to Maya to, for example, if I extrude, uh, as you can see, this is a in view menu, uh, in view editor, Ive, Ive, or, or how, how it, it, um, it pronunciation. All right. Um, Lazar tool, control L, of course, uh, as you can see, I've decided to remove in my configuration the, the toolbox. Of course, you can re-enable it. And uh, you can have directly access to all these tools by using uh, uh, Q for uh, entering in selection mode, uh, in W for translate, uh, E for rotate, R for scale, uh, for scale and uh, T for the, the last tool I use, uh, sorry, or uh, in this case, the, the universal manipulator for this object. And um, and there is no hotkey for lasso tool. And if I not, uh, if I can't see this bar, I cannot, of course, entering easily in lasso tool, so control L and there is no more problem. The lasso tool can back Q for quidditch. All right, great. Um, parent and position. This is one of the, my last trick. Uh, I show that in the in the pose uh, reader, in pose in wait pose uh, video in PSD uh, video, uh, as you can see in the in the main channel on YouTube. But uh, in this case, uh, I want to show you again. Why not? Uh, there is a, a great feature I think in Maya when you create an object and another object. Uh, these two objects now living in, into the world space. The world space is uh, starting from uh, these coordinates. There is 0, 0, 0, and x, y, and z, and uh, can be set for uh, the objects as you see here. Actually, these objects are in this world position and have, uh, for example, a rotation. Uh, um, sorry, did I make an error? All right. And, uh, and I make a rotation for this object. And as you can see, I have uh, changed the, the channel value in the channel box. So uh, if I take this object set and, 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 and after that selection this object and press pre, I can parenting it. The parenting to two, or, or more simple, I can take this object using a mid mouse button and parenting. By by now, uh, these objects live in the world of this object, so the transformation of this object, uh, of course, sorry, the transformation of this object are driven by the transformation of this object. If I resetting all the transformation, as you can see, my cube. Uh, uh, take the same position, uh, the same position, sorry, of the of the cube. And if I select a cube, I can move the the, the, the cube by the sphere. Uh, this is because, of course, there is a hierarchy between the two objects. But if if you if I if I uh, you want uh, without the need to uh, you make two commands, I have had this uh, simple skip that parenting and resetting the translate and the rotated scale. I don't want scale. Uh, I, don't, I don't want uh, resetting the scale to one. This is because if I change the dimension of my object, probably I want to leave this, uh, leave this at, at ease. Uh, so I can play this, take this object, test this one, Control P, and now as you can see, the parenting uh, automatically resetting the rotate and the translate, and this lets you already have uh, aligning the two object. Very simple, but uh, I think so. Very, very powerful. And um, multi-outliner windows. Um, this is a 
a request on, on many many forum I have this script I have found in one of one form um, the the resolution this is really the script let you opening more than one uh, control alt zero control alt zero of course why uh, I don't use control zero for example this because control zero is uh, uh, is is for uh, selecting sculpting tool when you are in sculpt mode inside of my 2016 so um, I don't want you overlapping. The, the the key. I try to do not overlapping, and when I need it, I I take the, the original key and and, trans, and transfer to another another alt key. Uh, in this case, Control Zero, let, uh, sorry, Control Alt Zero, let me opening multiple uh, alternate window that can be useful. I think so. Yeah, it's very useful. All right. Um, uh, paint, paint, uh, uh, paint FX panel. This is a really interesting tool. Um, the user of Maya, the, the older users, remember probably that uh, when you press 8 on the uh, Maya 2014 or, or before Maya 2014, uh, it's opening um, a, a, 2D, a 2D panel when you can use the, the, the paint effects on 2D canvas. But the, uh, from uh, Maya 2015, they have removed it. Uh, I decided to re implement it, but uh, not on 8 key. This because uh, sometime uh, uh, 8 key is, is too easy to press uh, and uh, Sometimes go out uh, on the canvas mode, it can be difficult. So I de decided to re-implement it, that is, uh, this functionality of Maya. That I think it can be cool, but um, hey, I uh, connected to a more complicated uh, hotkey, Control Alt 8. As you can see, I can open my, uh, my editor. From here, I can probably open my window, generalize the visor. I don't have to make too much uh, modification to these uh, elements. And now I can use uh, every 3D. Um, very 3D brush directly on my canvas, and this can be cool because, as, as I see in a, in a very old, uh, in a very old demo, uh, sometimes the, the the branch, for example, go in front of the object, sometimes behind the object. It's a sort of 2.2.5D uh, paint uh, um, tool. So yeah. I don't know, but I want to reintroduce it. For, for exit by it, uh, for exit from F for exit from him, I can use Ctrl Alt and 8 again, and I come back to the 3D view. Now remain active uh, the, the paint effects, so I press Q to, uh, of course, to reset the tool and removing the paint effects tool. Um, docket outliner is this uh, is this elements uh, alt zero alt zero because I I want to give to the alt key uh, some functionality related to the uh, to the UI or to viewport. Um, uh, with with the alt key you can rotate, pan, tilt, and so on the, the camera. But uh, I think uh, and so I think uh, use alt uh, is 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 more easier to remember. Um, for, for this reason, so the layout, the the, the docket object uh, like outliner are to the alt and the number key, and so you can see the layout. So layout are eight. You can have access to layout by press Z, let him press, and using the right mouse button on uh, with on, on the view oh, sorry the viewport without ing without ing enable the uh, uh, without selection any kind of object and you can see there is this the, 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 the layout for view app shade node editor UV layout and so on and so far you can have access to keyboard from control one sorry alt one that you have for lab for view layout up alt two alt three alt four alt five alt six alt seven alt eight and uh, all these uh, uh, area of work are um, peculiarly let you have access to some functionality. Of course, if I press Alt, sorry, Alt 4, I can have access to my UV. And, and let me work on um, very, very, very fast way you know, on my on my object, so I can uh, working side by side uh, 3D and the 2D. This is. Um, 
this is uh, true to the animations too uh, as well uh, i press alt 5 to have access to graph editor uh, remember any, uh, uh, most all panels have, uh, they have a new set of marquee menu if you press z and press the right mouse button you can have access to the uh, contextual mar marquee menu for the panel so in this way you can very fast and easy uh, editing the, 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 the animation for 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 um, for your objects uh, local thermal toggle uh, this is very very useful on modeling uh, if you press vertex uh, as you can see i have um, uh, added this to halt and this uh, this um, this uh, symbol and now i can uh, uh, sorry uh, heart, yeah, alt, uh, alt because uh, is a viewport related tool, and now as you can see, I can tumble around my to my my vertex. I already showed this on on the on the uh, on the custom script uh, video. Um, press to auto view alt enter uh, toggle press auto view um, alt enter alt enter as you can see i can switch uh, between uh, perspective and relative uh, orthograph um, uh, color picker ah this is really interesting when you're rendering you want to know how light are on pixel uh, sometimes it's difficult, and um, in the in some time ago, what I do after a rendering, uh, sorry, this take a minute, um, is this: I can uh, render in my 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 objects, and after that, I, for example, go in the in the uh, shader. And selecting a color picker from here, and uh, here I can now know uh, how uh, are, the, are the illumination of, of uh, this pixel or overall uh, selection pixel. But this can change uh, the color of the object. So if you use uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, handy shortcut Alt E, you have directly access to the color picker. And from here you can do the same thing, but uh, you you, can, you don't uh, need to selection or make strange uh, strange uh, uh, strange workflow. Uh, orient orient migration and toggle is what I do now. If I press a face, this is I show already, and uh, and this let me uh, change the orientation by the tilde key. Very very fast in this. Uh, for, for create some of these, uh, I uh, sorry for this hot key. I need to um, to uh, uh, sorry um, to take uh, away some other hot key that I have remapping. Uh, uh, toggle paint zoom, uh, control alt enter, uh, smooth uh, display show bot, uh, smooth, smooth display toggle, and these other key, key. These two are really, really, really legacy uh, tools. I think so now no one uses more the, the proxy for um, for um, for modeling. I can press three. I can have access to. Uh, subdivision Pixar uh, subdivision surfaces sub, open subdiv so it's, it's a lot better but uh, if someone continue to use uh, I have remapped it for for for, for who want to use of course um, the two uh, okay this is the main main hot key but uh, remember there is a lot more of the key uh, for example if i have no selection anything in the viewport and press z z let me into a contextual hot key i have no i have not made i haven't i have not already made a list of uh, uh, contextual hot key um, what are these contextual hot key are the hot key that let you um in increase Increase the, uh, the 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 speed of using Maya. Um, for example, in this case, be because I am on the viewport, I don't have selection nothing. All right. Um, Z let me select the current camera. Now, if I press Z again, I can opening the 
attribute editor for the current camera and change, for example, the focal length of the camera. I create a lot of these uh, context solid key. Um, for example, I, another thing I already, already show, but I think is, is very iconic, uh, is very, okay, it's, it's a very great demo for this kind of work, is uh, um, the, the, the one shortcut, uh, contextual shortcut in the combination of a selection by using, uh, I know, I, yes, show this in, in, in all the videos, but, but I think it's very interesting uh, to, uh, to give an idea of what can do with main nine. Of course, main nine is fully configurable, so anyone can download it and make it his own version of main nine. And I think this is good. Um, if I select this, these two, two elements, press Z again, uh, it can create a blind skin. So, wh what's the point here? If I select an object and another one and press Z and use the right mouse button, as you can see, I have Merkin menu based on com combinate of two selection. How you can have a list, or how you can know, know uh, this uh, context or key is very easy. If you press Shift, Ctrl, Alt, and Z, you can open MM to Alt key to key. Now, if you scrolling uh, the the, com the selection, the combination of selection, because in this case polygon object, uh, this run up poly MM, this run up select multicomp. Look at this. If I create a sphere. And I press Z. Press Z and release. Uh, let you activate select multicomp. But uh, if I select a face, uh, and now in this in this uh, column I'm searching face. Uh, sorry, polygonal face, uh, something like that. Let me uh, one second, please. Uh huh. Polygonal face here. You can see I, ru I run up the face marking menu. Of course, this marking menu, not the face cure, but the face marking menu. All right, and and most important and, and a lot important, the error. So uh, the error mode object. So this can let me come back to the object mode. In this way, I can switch in and switch out. Uh, Object and component mode. Of course, if you want to show, if you want to know everything about this, is easy, very easy. Let you always go in here and read. For example, stroke, less operation in stack. So if I create a stroke, a paint effect strokes, very, very, very fast, useful. Now I want you editing this stroke. Now I have selected this in the outline on this viewport. Now press Z. As you can see, I have already the last operation. The last operation stack is the uh, are the option of the of the um, of the other brush. So I can change the grow the tubes, the gaps, and so on of the of the of these uh, of these elements. Um, poly poly, select multi comp. Cluster handle. I do not have any kind of, and this is important on the on the panels too. Because when you are in a panel, you probably want uh, um, how I can explain. You probably want to make uh, some contextual action. For example, um, if I opening up my sphere, I can let it have an isotropic uh, shader or something like that. Press Alt three, and now. Sorry, I went to two for a new hypershade, and now you can see, of course, this um, oh yeah, I, um, I came back to the original state of the UI. And now I want to know everything I, I can know about this shader. How I can I select this shader, press Z when the mouse is on this, uh, in, in on this panel and release, and you can see I have the the attribute editor in the in the in the right uh, in the right shader in the right position and I have the the the, the of course the uh, oh, I can spell it, sorry uh, the, the, the 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 network uh, shader network in this area how I can do that it's very simple control Alt Z and uh, sorry shift control alt and Z panels 
hypershade panel and yeah, and et voila I, I, I use him the hypershade marking menu and I run up expand shade script right um, how like you can change this you can directly type the um, the name, the runtime command name from Mel of Python, you can pro programming in Python 2 in this area or in Mel 2 in this area, save the script and save the connection of the panel by this button. So you have fully, fully uh, ability to uh, customize. In the next video, I want to create only a video on the customization of Maya. And uh, of course, the customization of main line, because main line is uh, a modification, of course, for Maya. Um, come on. And this is a uh, some uh, some some um, change I, I I apply to the to the um, to the preferences. This is because I think so, some um, uh, make 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 some good uh, good decision on on the, the evolution of Maya. And I think sometime the the old the old days is better. So I decide to um, sometime come back uh, as you can see at some time sometime uh, increase for example so by enabling the anti-aliasing uh, by by default I think by anti aliasing that you have uh, a very clean uh, view of what happening in the viewport uh, um, that uh, all, all, all the all the gizmo is better the, the, the line of the wireframe is more readable uh, there's more thickness there is more thickness in general and the things uh, using the anti-aliasing is very 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 good for for the last version of Maya. Um, uh, but uh, all right, uh, two side light is enabled. In this case, I decided to re-enable the two side lighting. If I delete uh, the semisphere, as you can see now, you can uh, work as the old Maya. Of course, you can uh, return in the note box uh, and uh, lightning and disable the two lightning. This is the, the new default, the new default settings. In a future, uh, remember, in a future video, I want to show all this stuff in in in, in deeply. This is an only overview of a workflow, only overview of the of the tools. Um, the recreation is enabled. Yes, uh, this is I think some good stuff. Let you uh, create um, the the object by drawing it. Not uh, anyone like it, but I have a range. Let's see. In my advertise 2016 is uh, is uh, disabled by default. You can disable two, of course. Create uh, polygon primitives. I disable the interactive creation. But I think it go is good. I like it, so I leave it. Um, all right. Anti-aliasing is enabled, of course, I already show. X-ray um, non-active component is enabled. I think this is very powerful. This is a, a feature adding in my, my 2000, uh, sorry, in my 2015, but is not enabled by default. If I select some edge, for example, as you can see, I have select my edge. When I move the, 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 the view, behind i continue to see the only non tall not all the edge if i the select in i select only the these two one as you can see i not see all the edge behind but only the selected and i think this is very 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 useful uh, this is because you you can uh, you can read when a selection is behind because it's more dark uh, uh, respect the, 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 the one is in front as you can see in this demo some yellow dots are more brilliant is the brilliant is in front of me the, the, the more darker the one are behind and things is very good functionality uh, hidden attribute uh, connection is, is exposed this is uh, uh, very important for uh, one using uh, using Maya as rig for rigging or, or uh, or technical direction or for the for the technical direction um, because uh, this show hidden is, uh, is, is, uh, is disabled by default and I think sometimes it's very very difficult to connect or, or, or find uh, elements uh, this because it is uh, not always no, not all not all not only drive the connection editor but drive the, the filtering in the node editor too when you try to create a connection between uh, Two, two, two elements, uh, and so I think it's very important to have uh, enabled it because this list uh, change uh, based on the list of the of the connection editor. All 
All right, uh, membrane deformer. Membrane deformer is uh, a deformer based on a nucleus. It's uh, something uh, really, really uh, obscure, I think, for a lot of uh, my user. It's a great deformer uh, because uh, it's something, it's like um, 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 and clot, but not need to have a playback the, the sequences so you can interact with the, with the object. Uh, membrane is, is totally exposed as I as I mentioned before. I select an object Z, right mouse button, the former a membrane deformer. It looks like uh, as any other one, the former, but is really unique and uh, I think so. Uh, probably it is take a long time if you want to read all this functionality is very similar it very, is very near the the, the on nucleus uh, and then on an end clot uh, you can uh, self collide or collect a, an object without need to to dynamic uh, use dynamic directly um, as you can see i have um, i have enabled to the the paint attribute too sorry for that and uh, if you go under paint attribute uh, you can see you can uh, paint a membrane Membrane deformer as uh, any other deformer, so it's full exposed. Um, MIP ray shader exposed. This is related to MIP ray. I know um, Nvidia don't don't want uh, expose um, uh, by default this this rubber these shaders. This because this utility shader or something like that. This because um, the, the, they are present in. Uh, in other, in other tool and uh, is loaded when is needed, but uh, I think sometimes can be useful at it. And so now, if I search MIP, as you can see, for MIP matte shadows is very useful when you want to use um, image based lighting for illuminate sheen. And this can be useful, so I decide to to expose it. Um, uh, by from paint velocity exposed. Uh, this is an attribute of uh, paint velocity. You can paint the, the velocity based on the of the of the vertex that have uh, that have created the 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 the, the, uh, the particles, of course. Uh, symmetric constraint. Uh, we have exposed uh, we, me and me and Andre. We have uh, exposed the symmetric constraint in the first time. Uh, uh, the symmetric constraint is based on the ability to the mirroring uh, the the axis of the joint. But after that, we want, we have uh, you create a our node uh, as I show in, in a video about the contributors before. Um, manage cleanup the default plugin. This is a set of uh, cleanup and uh, uh, of, of settings and, uh, and plugins. So now Maya is loaded up more fastly, and uh, uh, a lot of plugins are loaded always only when is needed. And I think this is better. This is because I let you have more clean interface and outbox and uh, uh, run up uh, Maya more fast and use more, less memory on setup and during the work. Um, auto box have no transparency. I think this is very disturbing. Uh, very disturbing. Very. Um, I don't like it, so I decide to disable it. Uh, incremental says, uh, yeah. Uh, when you save uh, um, with my uh, main nine, you always save by using incremental save. The incremental save is limited to the to five. Uh, to five interaction. I think this is very useful for come back uh, to all the shin. Um, I, I'm starting by using Maya from version 7 and the version 7 is uh, I think it's a lot more unstable than these uh, last, last, uh, last two or three release by Outlast. But uh, um, I, 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 I continue to use it because sometimes I save and close. Oh, I, I, I want a, a previous state of a file. So I have an incremental save always enable is very useful. And uh, I have limited to five uh, interaction is not consuming it so much hard drive. Um, color manager is, is off for new sheen. In this case, as you can see, color manager you know, your management is off. You can see for, because the, the initial shading group, initial shade, the, the default shader is uh, is in its original uh, dark gray. But for example, if I segment array and enable the linear workflow, I enabling the, uh, the I fully enabling the 
the the the, the linear workflow um, and uh, command management. But uh, you can deselect all, uh, press Z and right mouse button, and the, the, using the toggle color management to uh, off. Uh, sorry, um, or you can if you are using Mentor, you can switch between uh, the two the two. Uh, column management option. I have optimization. Um, I have filtering some uh, aspect of our of I've in view editor. Um, I do not like this uh, light gray. Uh, yeah, I prefer this one. For example, I removing the local transit Z. This because uh, there is already the thickness, so it's not useful. I think so. And I have uh, I enable some other functionality that uh, that are not enabled. I think so. The taper is not enabled by default. So I I, I try to incre increase the 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 day. You can of course continue to. Uh, change the functionality and, and um, uh, read the, redefine the functionality from this uh, this little button here. Um, brush optimization. Uh, see, uh, yeah, this I, I do on the new brush. This because uh, the the standard option for brush I think so is too big. If you create a small object like this using the, the standard configuration for brushes is a little is a little, little difficult. Sorry, uh, make a mistake. All right, uh, it's really difficult, so I prefer to change uh, the size and some uh, the, the force, uh, the strength. Sorry, uh, for the for the sculpt tool, so it's more uh, work well on on the small object. Tool optimization, of course, I have create, I make some optimization. For example, uh, for for tools. Uh, I have now a completely a complex, uh, um, complete, complete, sorry, complete list of uh, of these uh, these modifications. But one of the most interesting, for example, is that uh, on Bevel Plus I always use uh, um, I always always use polygon. Or if you create, for example, a uh, uh, a curve and a circle, and you use the extrude function. Uh, I always create a tube. I I I make the, the this tool create a tube for this object. So I try to um, optimize some of these uh, tool settings, default tool settings. Pen skill tool now work with colors. Yes, um, one of the most interesting feature I think they have introduced introducing in May 2011 is the ability to paint uh, paint the, the 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 weight of joints by using color. And uh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, uh, and now we can skin. Another thing, uh, if you select a uh, joint uh, right mouse button in Z, for example, you have fast uh, access to joint size. It's a simple but very useful feature, I think. So, um, all right, um, I select it uh, Z, right mouse button, brushes, uh, uh, paint skill weight, and as you can see, I have enabled this color that lets you see graphically when the, where the, the joints are more, more more strong, more or less strong. Uh, I have had a purple color to uh, to increase the the the, the, the graphical uh, feedback of this tool. Um, Oh yeah, uh, skip the, skip the editor now. I have the, the the common completion. This is a little thing, so, but is is useful. If I you opening and searching something, for example, uh, extrude. <laughs> as you can see now, yeah, I have the the the, the, um, the automatical competition, some hint, and um, I think so it's very useful. Uh, Channel box is set to four decimal. Very fast to see that four decimal, more more precise. Uh, Animal hardware selection under Maya 2016 SP1 or above. This uh, is a, a little, a little trick. Uh, yeah, I can I can't show that, but uh, yeah, in, from uh, SP2, uh, they have uh, introduced a new way to select object is by using the the, the directly the the. the 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 graphical the GPU processing without uh, using software software 
software selection. Uh, I decide to enable it because uh, um, in some configuration, uh, for example, I, I sometimes I'm working with an Intel graphics card, very very basic, but I have a little laptop and sometimes. I, I use that. Uh, I, I noticed that uh, the selection of the vertex or, or of components in the in the in the um, sorry uh, in the UV text editor is a lot more fast and uh, and stable. So I decided to enable it because uh, you have a more precise selection based on the cursor in the viewport, but uh, you ha can have a huge improvement of uh, workflow speed and workflow selection in the UV Texture Editor that from my 2016 using the OpenGL to rendering and I think it's very, 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 very useful. This combo. There is a, uh, only a little, little problem. Is a, is a little my bag, bug. Sorry. If I create a um, nonlinear uh, can be difficult selection some uh, um, some elements, uh, um, but uh, but but I think so is is a is a is a good deal. For example, is if I using this one and press T, I I cannot more select this. But um, I think so is a is a little problem, is a minor problem because you can using. Uh, uh, the last command, the last command, uh, the last uh, operation is stack, and you have access to uh, this element. After, after these two graphical elements are 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 are, are unlocked, uh, you can continue to use it in in an in interactive way. So for this video is is uh, all, and uh, I think.